We're just two days away from Halloween, and if you're planning on bringing your furry friend along for the trick-or-treating fun, here are a few things you should keep in mind. Happy Halloween, and if you're looking forward to trick-or-treating with the kids and even the pets, well, Mr. Manners himself joins us once again to give us some tips if we are taking the dog on the go. Good morning. Good morning, Michaela. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Let's talk a little bit about the inspiration behind this segment. Yeah, so I'm doing a brand new column called Petiquette, which is all about the etiquette of being a pet parent for Pet Central. And we thought, what a fun topic to kick off with. But this idea of trick-or-treating, primarily with your dog. Most people are not trick-or-treating with a cat or, uh, <laughs> or a parrot, maybe. Uh, but mostly, so trick-or-treating with your dog and what the etiquette of that might entail. So you have a couple tips here. Let's, let's jump right in and roll through them. The first being, be honest with yourself. Yes. So, so this pertains to the fact that we love, in theory, the idea of wandering a neighborhood with our, our trusty canine by our side. And yet the reality is your dog may not be so into this. So unless you know that you've got a dog who's not going to be frightened by seeing trick-or-treaters, strangers, small children, someone who's not going to be barking at every dog he or she sees, this may not be the right occasion for your dog to be going around the neighborhood. And of course, there's the added layer, and we'll talk about, of COVID this year mm -hmm. with what trick-or-treating is even going to look like. So there are so many uncertainties this year in particular that we really want to simply be honest with ourselves. Is this the right thing to do with our dog? Well, like you just mentioned, COVID is happening. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We need to follow the guidelines. Yes, very much so. And we know that the CDC is recommending against traditional door-to-door -door trick or treating as, mm -hmm. we, as we know it. Uh, so given the fact that we're keeping our distance, given the fact that we are most likely, if anything, wandering in, in a safe space, keeping that six feet, wearing, wearing masks, Halloween masks, but maybe even a regular uh, COVID mask as well, um, yeah. we've got to be aware that when we go out with a dog, people who are dog lovers, are going to want to come up, are going to want to pet the dog, and want to engage with us. Mm -hmm. Now, the dogs can play with one another, but the humans still need to keep their distance. Okay. So if someone's coming up to your dog, it may be more appropriate for you to simply say, oh, you know, I love your costume. It's beautiful. We're maintaining social distancing, mm -hmm. me and Rover included. Uh, so, but we'll wave to you from here rather than letting people come up, which means that you're going to be engaging with them as well. Right. That's a great point. Um, your third point is very important. Don't force the costume. Some dogs are great and they will allow it. God love them. They, they, you could put glasses right on their face and they will just wear whatever, but, but don't force it. You know, Michaela, we live in the age of Instagram, of course, <laughs> and people just, and, and there are dogs out there that have five million times more followers than you and I could ever aspire to, <laughs> right. and that's terrific. And those dogs, all the power to them that they love wearing the outfits and they love, love the spotlight. Mm -hmm. I think for most dog owners, the reality is dogs don't like putting on hats and no. they only maybe tolerate costumes. So a nice thing that you can do if you're dreaming of that perfect Instagram post is to have your dress up day with your dog in advance of Halloween where you can do it in your home, you can do it in small doses and not force the costume on the dog when they're in these strange scenarios of having to be out and about with strangers. So yeah. get, your, get your perfect dog selfie, uh, before the holiday, you've got your post ready, and that way you're not stressing the dog out with the additional burden of the anxiety of wearing this outfit around strangers. Right. Last but not least, and I love that Halloween's on a Saturday because we could take advantage of this and just get all the dogs together. Yes. Yes. I, I'm a big fan of this. So take, take you know, whatever your, your dog breed is, maybe you're in a Pomeranian club, go to the local dog run, go to the park, let the dogs play with one another. We know they're not giving each other COVID, thank goodness. And then the adults, the pet, pet parents, can stand to the side in their costumes, let them dress up, have some doggy treats to give all these wonderful dogs who are so well behaved, and enjoy the spirit of the holiday outside. We'll cross fingers for, uh, for good weather. Certainly. Well, it is trick-or-treating, so you definitely need dog treats as part of it. So I like that you mentioned that there, Thomas. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Michaela. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.